Hi, good morning. I'm Ted. Hi, I'm Monica. And this is Black Pearl Voyager. <laughs> and he's making me do this. I needed help, believe me. I can't stand the sound of my own voice, so I have to interject something interesting. And he showed me the first picture, and I look fat. <laughs> they're not looking at you, they're looking at the Jeep now. Okay, and the sunset. So, uh, in the beginning, there was the Serenity. This is our 2008 Jeep Wrangler, and the color is Red Rock Pearl Clear Coat. And I bought this back in 2016 for around $14,500, and it had 70,000 miles on it at the time. Uh, back, back then, it was completely stock, though, and uh, I built this up to what you see here. And I really had a good time uh, working with my son and his friend and building out this uh, Jeep. And I had it outfitted just exactly the way I wanted it. And I and, fell in love with the Jeep. I mean, the guy. Yeah, madly in love. Yes. Anyway, it had a major flaw, or a minor flaw, actually. It came with a kite. <laughs> no, that, that's my kite. It didn't come with that. So the one slight flaw that it had was... Wasn't the kite. No, it wasn't the kite. It was the fact that it struggled um, to pull around that 16-foot StarCraft trailer you see there in the picture. Uh, I, admittedly, it was right at the upper limit, 3,500 pounds. And the frame didn't have any trouble supporting it or towing it. It was very stable. But the little 3.8-liter turd motor that... Uh, that Jeep put in this uh, beginning years of the JKU was just too weak to Cars make for... Cars would go flying past us up yes. the hills when we were going towards the beach. Well, that happens in any Jeep you're driving, but it was especially bad in this one. And uh, yeah, it never saw a fourth gear and uh, second gear uphill was pretty common. So this was our solution, and I really had to twist Monica's arm to <laughs> upgrade to a Gladiator, but it solved our problem. Expensive. Sold everything we owned. Anyway, this is the 2020 Gladiator, um, and I held out for the Max Toe Edition. I, I uh, specifically researched, uh, researched it, and it was because this particular model has the wide Dana 44 axles, and the 410 gears. It had uh, to be black. It had to be black. Well, that was another compromise. Uh, it's hard to find one in anything other than black or white or red around here. If you want the blue or orange, it's a special order. I would have took orange. Yes, but anyway, uh, any, like the mute, like the, it has the same axles that the Rubicon has, uh, minus the lockers. So, and 410 gears, and that way we could put larger tires on there without too big an issue. So it's in baby right now. Yes, this is... Uh, baby view. Yes, baby mode, I guess. Stock tires, stock wheels, stock everything, really. But this is the only Gladiator, actually, that uh, comes in at the full 7,650 pounds of towing and look we have our kayaks in there yes the kayaks that was important so now we don't have any issues at all pulling the trailer and it solves the other problem I had and that's uh, how to carry our kayaks around when we're camping I couldn't figure out how to mount them to that trailer it doesn't have any flat spots or an open roof had a little difficulty trying to figure out how to make sure they stayed in the bed of the truck but we figured that out mm. yes and it's a five foot bed and they're 10 foot kayak so they mostly fit and then there's some sticking out the back and if they weren't up at that angle they'd hit the trailer but we made it work it works yeah and two brains made it work yeah, yeah. and we're happy with it because yeah. 
we like to go kayaking. And it was easy to get it out of there. It very easy. But as you'll see later here, that's about to change. So here it is a few weeks after that uh, camping trip. And um, the soft topper that I ordered for it finally more arrived. Toys. He wanted more toys. And so uh, I went with the soft topper because it looks like it's supposed to go on a Jeep. Uh, thought about the fiberglass caps that they make for them, but none of them really looked right on the... It didn't look good. No. The Jeep is not, you know, smooth lines and... and Anyway, it's rugged. Yes, and this was about probably half the cost of a of a fiberglass cap. They run about eighteen to two thousand to twenty four hundred dollars. This one I only paid eight hundred dollars for, and it has a lot of flexibility. It can be folded up, and you can roll the sides up, and it still protects uh you know the stuff inside but it's not like a ton of cover where everything's jammed in under 18 inches of cover it just looks cool yeah it's all about the look it is it's all about the look i agree so here's another view of that soft topper after it was installed it looks cool from all the angles. Yes, it does. And it especially looks cool when you roll up the sides. And we call it safari, the safari look. Yes. Anyway. Yes, it, and it does. It looks safari. You, you can have fun with it. Yep. And you can actually fold it all the way down. You'll see in the next few slides. Um, so that you have complete access to the back of your gladiator. You can invite people to just go for rides and in the back and just have fun. Yes. You know, you, nobody can ride in the back of oh, I these forgot. days. No, yeah. nobody can ride in the back. When we were growing up, it was cool to yeah. ride in the back of a pickup. Yeah, but, but now, now they no. know how old we are. Yep. Oops. And as you can see here, we're starting to go with the theme. Um, uh, this is when we uh, officially came up with the Black Pearl um, and the Black and Blue uh, the blue on black, or the black with blue accents. We're going black and blue, blue and black. Black and blue, blue and black, yeah. And I think it looks really nice. Me too. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, so here we are a few days or a few weeks later. I can't be sure. But anyway, we have uh, uh, folded down the soft topper so that we can get access to the uh, roof of the Gladiator. It was pretty easy to get there. Yes. Uh, uh, the Freedom Tops just pop right off, of course. And then uh, a few more bolts and you can have the whole top off. Not very heavy at all. And the reason we did that was to install some hothead headliners, which uh, after doing some internet research, I discovered was a fantastic product with great support and much better than the OEM uh, headliners that come in around $550, something like that. Yeah, much more expensive. Something ridiculous. And the result was striking. Um, oh, it looked good, too. And, yeah, it looked really nice. And it, uh, it quieted things down in the cab, but, you know, it was a nice summer week. And so I don't think we put the top back on for what? At least a week and a half. At least it was yeah. it a week and a yeah, half? Yeah, it was a week and a half because yeah. we picked up my brother and we went up to Mount Hood too. To, yes, yeah, we so did. We went topless for a week and a half. Topless for a week and a half, yep. Uh, something else that arrived during that time period was some... Uh, seat covers from uh, from PRP and getting back to our black on blue theme uh, you'll see in a moment that the uh, we went with the blue theme inside too it looked pretty cool and they're very comfy yep and here you'll also notice that uh, we put on some NFAB um, rock sliders with the removable steps made it really easy to get in the front and the back. My daughter and I sat in the back with the top off and let the wind blow in our hair as 
Ted and my brother drove fast down the road. Yeah, it really is. Um, it is. It is um, quite an experience to go, you know, completely topless in uh, in the Jeep. And one day we might even remove the doors too. But still, it's the only vehicle in the world uh, that's a Jeep anyway, or that's a other than a sedan that's also convertible. And that's one of the things that attracts us about the, the Jeep products, especially the Wrangler and the Gladiator. Until a bee got into Ted. He had to pull over and get the bee. Yeah, Spot I did. Spot at the bee. Yeah, I, I got stung. I'm scared of a little fly. Bounced off the mirror, actually, and uh, <laughs> came right in the window. But, you know, that's that's the hazards of uh, uh, those seat covers I mentioned. And you'll Jeep. see that we haven't quite got the back seat covers in yet. And that's a whole nother story. And uh, I got to give it uh, props to PRP. They really stepped up and uh, and made things right. But that's for another time. Anyway, we're carrying on with the blue on black theme. It looks pretty darn good. I enjoyed it. And I did drive it home. I drove it to work without the top on. That was like five o'clock in the morning. And I drove it back home down the 205 with my hair just going everywhere. It was so much fun. I Are you, enjoyed you're it. still talking about the top being off? I am. I'm talking I, about I, the PRP I suit. I, I, I had so much fun <laughs> with but the I wanted, top off, but yeah. it's too cold outside. Well, I wanted to tell them all about the color choices. I and know. Those, uh, those are custom seat covers. I mean, yeah. they are, um, you get to pick the colors and the patterns and the textures. And uh, yeah, PRP seats, they're on the high end of... Um, uh, yeah, as far as seat covers go, but you, yeah, no, you can't tell them from, you can't tell them from stock. They look stock, and uh, I will always uh, use something like this. Like I said, they're a little on the higher end, but the, they're uh, sun resistant and water resistant and heat resistant and fart resistant and all kinds of resistant. So you can go with the top off again, because you know. <laughs> so yes, if you're driving with the top off, the uh, obviously the, it's my favorite way. The, you're right. <laughs> the birds aren't going to uh, affect it. Uh, neither is the leaves and whatever other crud, dust, whatever. Back ones are coming soon. Yes, they are, and we'll have a full set of these, so. It'll look cool. Uh, yeah. Let's just say that we'll never need to buy seat covers again, uh, the mm. way things worked out. But, like I said. <laughs> that's very true. <laughs> that's for a review that I'll do on these seat covers. So, one last look at a uh, close-up of these seat covers. I don't know if you can see the texture in the black. I chose the uh, black, I think that's ostrich. Yes. Yes. And uh, blue stitching. That looks like the sky, see, with the top off. It does. Are we back to the top again? <laughs> it does match the sky with the top off. And I think that's called voodoo, voodoo blue or something. Anyway, it's just really the perfect match and for the theme of our uh, gladiator. And uh, I'm really, really pleased with those seat covers. Oh, by the way, you might have noticed a slide or two back because I got distracted by someone. Oops. Uh, there's also a new bumper on there. It's the Rugged Ridge oh. uh, Venator bumper, and I'll do a review on that too. But uh, yeah, lots of things happen in this time period. And We're building it. Yes. We're partnering with it. We're making it ours. It's as much hers as it is mine, that's for sure, as far as uh, choices on the inside and, and well, and I've got a pretty strong personality, so sometimes she just has to acquiesce to yeah. my demands. But vice versa. She doesn't know what acquiesce means, but... <laughs> I'll Google it. <laughs> Don't tell him. You Google that. Okay, stop crunching. We're on, we're, we're recording now. Okay, I'm eating chips and dip. <laughs> she didn't offer me any. I did too. He doesn't like clam dip. No, I don't, I don't appreciate it like you do. I don't mm. hate it, but I don't appreciate it like you do. It's my favorite. Anyway, <laughs> getting back to the build, which is what this video collage is all about. Um, it, uh, no, There's no build that would be complete without uh, some, some, 
bright, lights. yeah, Amber bright lights. lights. Um, these are high, super high intensity. These are from Diode Dynamics, and uh, I chose the amber ones because uh, they cut through the rain and the snow, and especially on the trail, uh, dust. Uh, good. here in the Pacific Northwest yeah and these are really nice lights and I gotta give props to uh, Donald there at Soft Roading West who did such a great job uh, reviewing these uh, check out his channel Soft Roading the West and uh, yeah these are so bright and I chose the driving beam I think is what it is yeah and if your friend asks you what those are and they're looking at them don't turn them on yeah, really good idea. You know, they're dot certified for driving, uh, for use while driving, uh, not just off road. But they're so bright, I I don't have the heart to use them if I'm following somebody no. close or. Mm -mm. They yeah, they're really really bright. But I'll be doing a review on these two, so stay tuned for that. Okay, are you through crunching? Uh, yeah. She's still eating chips and dip. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> um. I wasn't actually going to go this direction. I was happy with the uh, soft topper as a cover. And then I got to watching, I think it was Coyote Works on YouTube. And uh, we have a home that, down in that same area. And what he does looks an awful lot like fun. And Yes, lots of fun. I didn't know what I was going to do uh, about a rooftop tent because we decided we want a rooftop tent on there. And... So I started sweating and fretting about. Yeah, and you know how much I like going topless. So we had to figure something out. Yes, we had to figure something out. Anyway, so I started looking for some kind of roof rack or bed rack that would actually go around the soft topper because, like I said, I paid eight hundred or eight hundred fifty dollars for the doggone thing, and it didn't want to use the uh, lose the use of it. I'll slow down my speech so that we can keep our things um, dust free and topless i meant the jeep topless yeah i'm still back on that yes um, so. but anyway um and watching coyote works i also learned about lolo overland down in trapdale oregon and i went down there and talked to josh and he says well i think there's a company that actually makes something but I don't know if they make one for the gladiator yet so he got online and he says hey guess what Dayton Metal Fabrication D-A-T-I-N Dayton Metal Fabrication yep that's what they have what they call a soft topper cage which is what you see right here it was perfect yeah it was absolutely perfect and um, I did an installation video on this so check out my channel for that and uh, yeah, you're gonna see some good things. Watch. Well, as it turns out, uh, Dayton makes uh, this rack over soft topper here for lots of other models, as well as the Gladiator now. And here's a shot of it almost complete. We did it together. Yes. Yes. Ed and I. Yep. And we shot the installation video because I do a lot of research on what I'm going to purchase on uh, YouTube. So, you know, props go out to you guys who are creators and um, influencers on YouTube because uh, it, it, it actually works. What I couldn't find was this particular brand, uh, any YouTube install videos on it. So I did one of my own. And so you can check that out that was uh, fun. right here. Yeah, on the Black Pearl it channel. Was it was easy to actually to put together. It didn't take us very long. No, and I think that was probably the first video I ever did. So, yeah, check it out. Black Pearl Voyager channel. So, here we go. This is a Black Pearl here all ready for a rooftop tent. Can't wait. Yeah. Yeah, and it looks really good with the uh, NFAB sliders, rock sliders, and the uh, those are x um traction mats on there, too. And there's a new bumper on there. You can't see very well in this picture, but it's starting to look like an overlander, huh? I had to take the Friday off so we could go get our tent. Yes, and that's another uh, video that you can uh, check out on the Black Pearl Voyager channel. 
Okay, in this last vanity shot, I keep taking pictures of it because it's just so doggone pretty. Can't help myself. Anyway, uh, this is a little bit better view of that uh, rugged ridge Venator bumper. I thought it came with that. Nope. When did you get that? I didn't say. <laughs> anyway, it's not your traditional uh, cut fold weld uh, type of uh, steel bumper. This is a, a, a pressed bumper that uh, comes in about a hundred pieces. And I'll be doing not an install video, but definitely be doing a review of it uh, because it's got a lot of style. And it, they say it's not a proper rock crawling bumper. And you know what? If you hit it on a rock, you're probably going to have to replace at least the piece that you damaged. But it's really light and it's very nice looking. And uh, it, uh, it's solid. It's got a good solid uh, winch base and yeah, we're ready for some overlanding. Sounds good to me. So here it is. Uh, this is the FSR M55 Adventure Series rooftop tent made by Free Spirit. Very comfy. Lots of room. Yeah, and they're made just a few hours from here. And so we actually, rather than have them deliver it, which would have cost 200 bucks, uh, we just went out to the factory warehouse and bend and picked it up. Shoot, they even mounted it for us for free. And I got an extra day off of work. It was pretty cool. Yes, and we do have a video of uh, that little trip and uh, our experience. Um, uh, with uh, Free Spirit Recreation there in Bend. And then uh, you'll get some views of uh, the Oregon High Desert. And I think we stopped at uh, the top of Primeville, which is where our second home is. Yes. And so you'll get to see some uh, uh, views of... Uh, Beautiful uh, town. Yes. Beautiful. Central Crook. Oregon. Crook County. Crook yep. County. Crook County. We slept in it that night. It was very comfy. And we stayed warm. It was easy to get up, even though we're old. It was easy. Well, it was to get the up. middle of the summer too. But what you don't know is, even in the middle of summer, in Central Oregon, it can get down to pretty chilly at night. So, but yes, we were comfortable, and um, this came down to a choice, at least for me, of whether I was too old to get down on my knees and crawl into a ground tent. Or if I was too old to climb up and get into a rooftop tent. And yes, you will not fall out. Everybody has asked me. I mean, no, you will not fall yes, out. Yes, no, no, you will not fall out. <laughs> yes meant that people ask me that all the time. Are you going to fall out? No, you will not fall out of that tent. No, the only time you'll fall out of that tent is if you're not careful about stepping down onto that ladder first thing in the morning. So... Because as long as you zip it up when you go to sleep, you're not falling out of that tent. Nope, you ain't going nowhere. Mm -mm. Nope. So even with all the cool accessories that we had on it, uh, the bumper and the rooftop tent now and the rack and everything, there was one more thing that needed to happen. And yep, that was lose those stock wheels and tires and the baby tires. Yes, put on some 35 inch Kanadis with uh, some Icon Rebound 17 inch wheels. And so, uh, with blue off, lug nuts. With blue lug nuts, yes, they'll see that in a minute. I was going to point that out later. But, well, I pointed it out. Well, you can't see any blue lug nuts in no, this picture. But they will. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and you will. Yes. So it wound up a little more offset than I expected. I mean, you know, you well, you don't necessarily want them sticking out too far from uh, the fender wells there. But um, for my application, this is just about right. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be bothered by too many state troopers or highway patrol, especially if we're miles and miles and hours away from any kind of blacktop out in the middle of nowhere. Nobody's going to bother us. Oh, 
Okay, so now it's starting to look like an Overlander, I think. Wow, it looks great. Yep. I still have the uh, Icon 2.5 inch lift to do, but I'm ready to take this uh, just about any back road in any condition. Can camp anywhere, any beautiful spot where no one else is at. Yeah. Unfortunately, it might be spring before we get to go out because of uh, this COVID thing. And uh, my wife's been busy. Monica's been busy because she works in the medical field. and Makes it hard to get out and do anything. Yeah. Yeah, we'll get out as soon as we can. Uh, Oregon has some pretty mild winters, usually. But when they're mild, they tend to be wet. And when it dries out, it tends to be windy and cold. So you have to take it as it is. Right. But if you wait for it to dry out in Oregon, you're not going to get too much camping done. So we got to go when we can go. I don't know if I like that. Oops. You don't know if you like what? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> you're talking about that ugly rooftop tent cover. That's what you're talking about. Yeah, I don't, I don't like it. Well, we got the rotopacks there on the other side, and we got the the cool blue yeah, but the X bull traction the, mats on this side here. The tent top cover almost makes it look like you have like a you went hunting and you're covering up your your goods. It just yeah. Yeah, it looks like you're more like you're on your way to the dump than yeah. So yeah. well, anyway, as it turns out, <laughs> this cover uh, has a minor defect. And uh, I'll be working with um, uh, Go FSR or, or Free Spirit Recreation there in Bend to get a replacement for that. Uh, they've already said they've got some. And so uh, we'll see a change there. Well, I guess you could call this a finished product here. Uh, as you can see, we taken it out uh, on a camping trip and it still pulls the trailer without uh, any issue at all, the added weight which is actually very little, uh, it, comparatively speaking. The bed rack, I think, was like 85 pounds, and the Free Spirit tent is just a little over 100 pounds, and the soft topper weighs almost nothing. And then our kayak's up there. Yeah, but we, yeah, we put the kayaks up there, and uh, so we can still haul them up there right on top of the rooftop tent, although we've got some pads that we put on up there, so it's not... Solid. It was solid up there. Yeah. And it's not uh, it's not damaging to the rooftop tent at all. It's not rubbing through the cover or anything like that. That was Fort Stevens what we went camping. Yep, it Fort was Stevens. Beautiful. Mm hmm Yep. Uh, I don't think we took the kayaks out that weekend because it was just a little on the cool side. No. But we did manage to do a little fishing and we rode our bicycles out on the beach and. Yeah. Guess we should have saw some video of that, huh? Yeah, we should have. I think we did. Okay, well, maybe we did. Yeah. Anyway, but that... we'll try to shoot more content and share with you all the beautiful places in Oregon and other places that we go. My sister and brother-in-law went with us, too. Yep. Yep, it was fun. Lots of fun. Now that's much better, don't you think? Yes, you're talking about the Jeep-branded uh, tent cover you're seeing yeah. there? Yeah, it doesn't look like garbage on top of our not that I you know that I would have been okay with the other one I would have lived with it especially when the kayaks were up there that was okay well this is kind of a bonus for us because you know, the guys down there Tim uh, Dakar I believe is his name down there he said hey you know what I've got some Jeep branded covers uh, for that M55 would you like one of those and all I had to do was send the other one back that they pay, and they paid the postage on it. So I just bought it. Yeah, we really scored on that. Uh, this Jeep branded cover is uh, kind of like the icing on the cake. Looks good. Yeah. Like it. We still got a little bit more to do. Uh, these pictures don't show the lift yet. I've got an Icon two and a half inch uh, lift, and um, uh, that's going to put us, uh, give us some a little bit more ground clearance. I'll have to use the steps to get in then. Mm -hmm. uh, there's more to do, and I'll be doing more reviews about uh, this build in later videos, but uh, I thought, uh, where we thought, that this would get you guys started on uh, where we were with uh, and where we were going with this build. And how much fun it is. Yeah. Okay. So, if you've enjoyed this, you know, feel free to like and subscribe and comment and um, catch us on the next video. 
Bye-bye.